<laughs> YouTube family, the Maverick in this space one more time, and you know, anytime the Maverick in this space, yeah, trouble. <laughs> All right, you see the plane load of Indian saga there. You remember the plane load of Indian will come out of the airport where they the thing blew up because two Uzbekistan nationally in you know, the group and USA flag them and the whole thing blew up a bigger operation, you know. Hear the theory. I'm going to share the theory with you. And you tell me what you think. And tell me how credible you think it is. And maybe someone out there in a YouTube land can verify if what we are saying. Go so. Now, me understand say it's a bigger operation. And all of them Indians that we see coming over there, they come here for work. Yep. Come for work in the homes and businesses of wealthy people. Jamaicans and wealthy people will live at Jamaica. Come to be helpers and nannies and you know laborers and gardeners and all them kind of something. There. Yeah, we, we basically live in the same space with the rich people. Them, I mean, sorry, not rich, wealthy people. Them, and the reason why these people are being brought here for do them job there is because these wealthy people living in Jamaica and wealthy Jamaicans don't trust. The Jamaicans. They not trust the native Jamaicans who who do them kind of work there. For they're so close in them space. Them afraid said them we set them up, we rob them and kill them. So them sent for some people from that part of the world there, you know. It's not just Indians, you know. Me understand say it include Indonesians and some other people from the culture there. Can you know, say a, a sea load of people live at them place, you know? I think about a one eighth of the world population live at India alone, you know. So a whole of people you talk about. So you have people from all social walks of life. And most, if not all of them, would be left right here in Jamaica. Yeah? A work for Jamaicans. And it would be illegal, you know. Because I think, as per the law, it's only skilled people supposed to come in. And I think most of them people would qualify as unskilled. And although, people, although, although a government if official did look on them in there and them, I say them don't look suspicious. When you look on them, them kind of look unskilled for true. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? If a government official can look on them and say them don't look suspicious, why me can look on them and say them look unskilled? <laughs> and as we say, I'm not just in the home them are working on. Them are working at some of the establishments, some of the business establishments owned by some of these wealthy people living in Jamaica. Because they trust these people. I mean, so when them come, they take me all them passport, you know. You mean, I tell you, I want to see you something going on, I mean, a peep over some fence. And, and here me go now, by the process of elimination, you know. Because I still can't find a rational explanation in my mind, you know, as to why a plane load of 200 and, and Indian just land at Jamaica, so, you know. You know, this is a man who will a bag and a whole luggage, them just land at Jamaica. So these are not wealthy Indians, you know. We come up on vacation, you know. From the look of them, you know. They don't look wealthy. <laughs> Again, if a government official can look on them and say they don't look suspicious. When we look on them, they don't look so wealthy either. So this theory kind of lack into everything we see from the visuals there, you know. And the lack of explanation as to why a plane load of 200 and odd Indian just come to Jamaica. Another thing we perk up my suspicion to. You know, nobody mentioned that one yet. But I don't remember seeing even one woman in that group. A 200 odd man, you know. Pack up the plane and, they, and come here, you know. Now, me, I think about it and my people were offense and ask a couple of questions. Apparently, you now, culturally, you know, you know, these men from them part of the world, they do all of them job the way we have women at Jamaica, you know. In terms of being nannies and being cooks and chefs. And them do everything, them a yard boy, them a do everything, and then them, as me said, some of them go work in a somebody business establishment. Them. Now, to me, this is a plausible explanation for what we say unfold last week with the entire saga. At one point, my mind did a straight towards the threat of terrorism. But me don't see the value if you carry out that kind of act there. Come at Jamaica, really and truly. He has me say some correspondence. It come out about that kind of threat. The alertness about that kind of threat 
for the World Cup because you don't know a cricket World Cup that and India not there and Pakistan is not there. If, let me say there, I mean in the region, you know. So when I tell about this, so my mind I go because in terms of the timeline, when you just get the correspondence a couple of days before, you know, and then now, right on the hill that we see a plane on an Indian. But when we get that explanation, you know, me understand it look a little bit more. It look a little bit more plausible to me. Yeah. But what really shocking about it though, well, it should be really shocking, is the fact that eh, so many people in Jamaica, where they real, they basically afraid to have the common Jamaican in a them space. They feel threatened by having the common Jamaican in a them space. Because we do things like we got a nanny work and a gardener work and them kind of menial labor work and to be a clerk in a store or something, you know. Them kind of thing they have, have you know, uh, uh, is a certain kind of Jamaican that go do them job. Them. And culturally, apparently, them come to the conclusion and say, them Jamaican will do them job. They don't really genuinely want to do them job. Them. them come to look away for hustle and rob and set them up. So, as a result of that, Far East and them carrying the people. Them. And this plain load that 200 had would have satisfied such demand as required, you know. But that one are blow up because them go pick up two, two foreign man where the USA have for them list up there. How that theory they sound? Oh, it sound, it sound good to me. It sound, let me put it this way. It sound reasonable. It sound plausible. It sound quite almost understandable. It's unfortunate, you know, but it sound understandable. Put yourself in a wealthy man's position. Yeah? Would you pick up a hire a youth? We come from in the belly of the garrison in a Jamaica. Or you go carry a man or a woman from a foreign culture. India. Come from the streets of Mumbai. You come to Jamaica, I really know nobody. You know, you know no gangster thing in Jamaica. And you have him living in your the back room of your house and him. Clean up the yard and him. Wash up your kitchen and if him can cook him, cook the food for you. Eh? Think about it, no man. <laughs> this is the Indian conspiracy. Explain. Me think it's a reasonable theory. And me can't really find cerebrally. Me can't bore no holy night yet. Because, as me I say, there was absolutely no plausible explanation why a plain load of Indian just land in a Jamaica so. With them too long and too little scandal bag. No, so something, something never add up. Me feel like the missing piece of the equation is. Real thing. What do you think about it? What do you think about when, we, when the Mavericks say, and what you think about it? What you think about it personally? If you disagree with me, theory, tell me why you think them Indian they're there. And why they came here. Obviously, them gone back, you know. As we say, they never supposed to gone back because, because the thing blew up. Anyway, man, we out. People over some more fence. See, we can see where I'm going. Like a clearer. <laughs> man, we <we're> out. <laughs>